Hi YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Sony's State of Play 2024. By the time this gets uploaded, it'll probably have been out for two days. Um, the only thing I know about it is Sonic X Shadow. And I'm sure that's going to be an eye-opening experience for many, many people that try and Google that at some point in the future. But uh, yeah, I know really nothing else about the state of play. I don't really keep up to date with Sony, but it's going to be nice to dive in and see if there's anything that interests me from an outsider's perspective. So if you like the video, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. It helps out a tremendous amount and I do appreciate it very much. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to uh, from the Sony state of play or just in this year in gaming in general, I guess. And uh, let me know if you Googled Sonic X Shadow and <laughs> tell me what you found. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sure it was great. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you when I click play on the video. Ciao for now. Sony State of Play, January 31st, 2024. It's just turned February when I'm watching this. It's February 1st. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'll turn it down if it's too loud, but here we go. I'll probably turn it about... I'll turn it there for now. Boom. Oh, that is still crazy loud. Okay. What is this? Get ready to dive into hell. Alright. Oh, did we see this at the last state of play? This looks familiar. I'm going to turn this down a little bit more, actually. I'm pretty sure is this the this is this a Starship Troopers game? Is it actually Starship Troopers? It wasn't, I don't think. But it, it reminded me of Starship Troopers, and I'm sure I said that last time as well. I've got a bad memory, but uh, this is firing up some sort of neurons in my head. It looked good. It genuinely actually looks pretty decent. Coming soon after launch. What, mechs? Sick. More bugs. <laughs> that guy has gone ham. Helldive! Get ready to dive into hell. It's called Helldivers. Who'd have Hi, thought? Everyone. I'm Herman Hulst, head of PlayStation Hi. Studios, and I'm honored to present the first state of play of 2024. The first three years of PS5 have given us incredible stories, immersive worlds, It's only been out for three years. From PlayStation Studios and their partners. We've also expanded PlayStation Plus with new features, including PS5 game streaming. And with PSVR 2 and PlayStation Portal, which released last November, we're committed to offering new and surprising ways for audience to interact with their PS5. But none of this cool. means anything about great one. games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences and diverse ways week? to play. Today, we're looking ahead to titles coming later this year and beyond, with extended gameplay and announcements we hope you find as exciting as we do here at PlayStation. Enjoy the show. Thank you, I guess. I'll try. Why not? I'm sure it'll be great. Oh, we saw this last time, didn't we? I don't remember what it was. I just remember the costume design. I'm not quite sure what that says about me. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. Oh, Stellar Blade. I've heard the name the floating around. Begins on post apocalyptic Earth, where a mysterious enemy called the Nativa has forced the human. This is set in 2025. Oh, it, it, it looks kind of fun, though. A member of the Seventh Airborne Squad. Theme is kind of nice. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad cool. is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source Step. called Hypersight. Make sure to stay cautious. That's where the Alpha Nativa is. So this must be 8 or 7. 
Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II. Then I can be your engineering support. This is the future Republicans want. They want your children fighting wars. Joking. Please don't hurt me. Here. Done. Something does feel different. Cool. This is Zion. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human I mean, it looks really good. Like, graphically, this is impressive. Eve is called Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe and fear. This is coming from someone that's played World of Warcraft for 17 years, so my knowledge of graphics has not changed, really. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Find the cat. Wait right here. Their requests. Not going to say anything about the character design, but I mean, those jeans looked a little tight, didn't they? This place has been overrun by Nativas. And malfunctions. It's it's like I feel like people are going to have the bayonet conversation all over again, aren't they? Really? It's going to happen. You know it is. You will occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airports. Oh, vending bots. machines? Oh, they're like my best friends. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items. Acquire new skills. Buy grenades from the vending machine? Ah, uh, it really is 2025 America, isn't it? She can also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. Eve will often encounter people in need, and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Nativa, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or... What? Something worse. A hippo cat? Sure. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nativa? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. Oh, you've got a samurai robot? That's kind of sick. Of all Nativas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. That is not an easy fight. It's fine. I can do this alone. It won't be easy. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the Eve Airborne Squad. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I source? will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! No more lies to my This feels like it could be a good, a good little game. It does seem pretty good. Genuinely, it's probably not a game that I will play, but I hope people enjoy it. Good music. Good monsters. It does just seem good stuff. Is she wearing clothes in that scene? Oh, it might have been that jumpsuit. Okay. Stella Blade. What are we getting, boys? Are we getting this, or are we getting the uh, Showtime Princess Peach? What are we thinking? Hi. Hello. 
플레이스테이션 5 그리고 플레이스테이션 스튜디오의 전폭적인 지원 덕분에 그 꿈을 현실화할 수 있게 되었습니다. 기나긴 여정이고 okay. 빨리 팬분들이 4월 26일 스텔라 블레이드를 April 26, not too far away, couple of months, two and a half, two and three quarters. Oh, it's uh, it's it's the Sonic game. It's going to be a hot take, but I don't like the speed boost sections of the modern Sonic games. Oh my god, it's Shadow. Oh, we get the Sonic Adventure 2 levels. Of course we would. That's kind of sick. Oh, we're going to get Crisis City as well, aren't we? No. No. Radical Eye. Oh, Bio Lizard fight. Sick. I I find it weird that you, you had to fight the Bio Lizard as Sonic, right, in Generations previously. That's cool. Very up for that. We didn't see as much as I was expecting, to be honest with you. This is a Hoyoverse game, which are famously in charge of Genshin, Impact, and that other one. This looks nice. It looks very Genshin-like. It's very anime. Another third-person sort of adventure game, which is cool. What's it called? Zenless Zone Zero. Wow, that... That's a name. Fight Foam with Foam. Oh, this is Splatoon. I remember seeing this. There's a nice little mascot there at the end of the match, I'm assuming. Very sort of uh, Splatoon inspired. They don't have him in Splatoon, that's, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Ah, it looks fine. This is a game that I will never play, I'm sure. I might watch somebody play it, but I don't see me playing this ever. Got a pixelated man. Oh, it's Dave the Diver. This game is meant to be extremely good. I've not played it. I don't I don't know if it's on Game Pass or not. It could be something I check out at some point. I've heard people talk very very highly of this game. It's meant to be very very good. There's a big... Oh, is this Godzilla? We... You're getting Godzilla in Dave the Diver? What? <laughs> Why? What? Oh, that's so silly. You know what I was just saying about the internet being silly? And the internet's at its best when it is silly? Video games also, when they're silly. Very, very good. Who's this guy? Is this PlayStation's answer to... Not really Diablo, is it? You can get up 
horse as a bear. You're a vampire. Okay. This looks... It, it actually looks alright. V. V Rising. Oh, didn't... Uh, didn't Barney64 do a video on this? I think I have seen it before. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Benson. This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return Konami. of a horror franchise that has been with us since the original PlayStation. Let's take a look at what's next for Silent Hill. I was Hill. gonna say Silent Hill, right? I thought that was Konami. What have we got, Konami? What are you cooking? Okay. Here goes. Do a flip. Maybe not. Is this a dream? Who's there? What's with this place? So Cherry Blossoms Bloom. They cancel PT, right? Within the grass. What are you hiding? That was meant to be a Silent Hill game, I'm pretty sure. Maya? Cancelled PT. Saw the success of Resident Evil 7 and 8. The and then just decided to restart it, I guess? This looks kind of weird. What was that thing chasing her? What is that? It was a thing. It was a creature. Silent Hill, the short massage. The scariest of situations, I'm sure. Hello, Ent Heil. Let's not say Heil. <laughs> Entil. <laughs> Trees on a hill. Available today. Okay. Oh, yesterday, I guess. Oh. This is the guy from Silent Hill 2, isn't it? <clears throat> is this a Silent Hill 2 remake? Or like Silent Hill 1 and 2, maybe? I don't know, I never played them, so... I don't really know much about Silent Hill. Oh, that's a creature. These are creatures. <laughs> Music change seemed a bit weird though. That's that's fine, I guess. Silent Hill 2, there it is. There it is, dude. In development for PlayStation 5. So we won't see that for two years, I'm sure. Ghost Story. From the creator of Bioshock. Hi, Dad. Say hi back. Of course they know. 
Again, another game series that I never really played. Maybe I should at some point. We got the Pepsi ship flying in. Very cool. We got Brandon Flowers there with the. Uh... There's a lot happening. There's uh, Rick Grimes. Okay. Okay. I mean, this does look very Bioshocky, doesn't it? Was that a dinosaur? Was that... Was that a dinosaur with a gun? Fix what you broke. Judas. Okay. It just makes me want to try Bioshock, to be honest. I would like to get round to them at some point. Stare into the flame. Think of this fire as a beacon. Okay. Okay. Its, warmth, its energy. Now, in deep silver. That is a logo I've not seen in a while. It's a VR game. Immediately lost interest that it's a VR game. Un unfortunately. Oh, cool. I'm getting spammed on Twitter by bots. That's great. Love to see that. I just saw like five different things come up in... Uh in Arabic. Interesting. Oh, it's a Metro game. Okay. That's... Again, another game series that I've not played. But uh, I care about it maybe 1% more now I know that it's a Metro game and not just some random VR game. Here we go. Yeah, you love to see this stuff. I've played many games like this on VR. My dad's got a VR headset and he, he makes me sort of look at games. And I'm pretty sure I've played this exact game. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of VR, but you can't beat the fact that you can just punch someone over and over again. It's so good. Was that the Dragonborn? Butcher Bob Wolf. You know, shout out to Bob Wolf. You can be Captain America. You can be Thor. Legendary Tales. Just like Supersonic, am I right? I knew you Dragon. A risen one. Capcom. Dragon's Dogma? I make no mistake. The dragon Cat. will appear before me. Plagued the Dragon. Oh, his skin be nasty. Man needs some moisturizer. 
I think this is Dragon's Dogma. I got the first one for the Switch, and... <sighs> I enjoyed it a little bit, I just didn't know what to do. So I got lost, and it was very difficult. So I'm not sure these games are for me. But this one looks really, really nice. If it is Dragon's Dogma. I'm assuming it is. Be a wizard with a two-handed sword. That's so sick. Make manifest your will. That's the last of this world. Right. Hold fast to your strength of will, Arisen One. Those who can be of aid to you will reveal themselves in time. Thy will. Didn't look like it ran super well there, which is unfortunate. I mean, the other bits of the game look like they run fine. It just seemed like that one griffin attack seemed a bit yes, uh, strange. Will avail you not watching one. Okay, <laughs> that ended very abruptly. <laughs> sure. Rise of the Ronin? エキシオの人物たちと紡ぐ因縁によって物語が変化していきますのでぜひ一人の浪人として皆様それぞれの幕末を体験してください What do we got? Koi Tecmo It's gonna be gonna be one of them games isn't it? We know what to uh, sort of expect here that's a nice building. Very nice looking game. It's, it's immediately making me think of uh, just running through streets like this. It, I was just about to say, it's making me think of uh, Assassin's Creed. And then <laughs> dude just flies up a building instantly. I like that you can sort of glide as well. And you can call your horse instantly. That's interesting. And combat's got like different stances. Also interesting. Oh, that man is dead. I agree with the video game law that every game can be improved with a grappling hook. And it just seems that has always been the case. They've got Valdo in this game? Sick! I haven't seen him since the last Soul Calibur. Every time I keep wanting to say Voldo's name, I keep wanting to say Volvo like the car manufacturer. And I have to think twice for just a little, little split second there. You've got flamethrowers in this game? What? I love that you can have a musket as well. Set in 1868, so this is like based on real life then. I'm sure. Rise of the Ronin. Yeah, it looks it looks all right. It looks pretty good. Again, one of those games that I probably will never pick up, but uh, I I hope the people that play it have a really good time with it because it does it does look fun. I 
持ちの揺れてないやつはついてこい Destructible buildings, that's kind of fun. Got a guy in a fedora? Yes. I'm a samurai. March, not far away. Not far away at all. Man humming. Ballistic moon. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Do I know that voice? The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The choice is yours. Oh. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. So is, is this just Saw? I've never watched the Saw movies, but is this just not a Saw movie? <laughs> oh, it's Until Dawn. I've heard that name before. That's already out, right? What is this? That man's got a sore arm. That is... Oh, it's Kojima. Oh, that makes sense. Is this Death Stranding 2? I never understood what the first game was about. this already. I really... I really hate this. Uh-oh, she's infected now. Oh no. Oh boy, here we go. Here's the baby again. <laughs> what? Welcome to Drawbridge, what? Sam. And to the GHV Magellan, our mobile base what? of operations. What? 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 Come on. What? I'll help you get your bearings. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put are them through their paces. Gray? Why are they gray? These rooms over here belong to other members of the crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. This is one hell of a ship you got here. Courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. They value their privacy. Seriously? No better than to believe that bullshit. I'm so lost. I guess playing the first game would slightly help with this. Cut off from one another. We want you to help us bring the world together. Oh, she's got a little puppet. 
humor him. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. Yes. Oh. Really, Your buttocks. What about shotgun? I prefer the driver's seat. Sam, do you read me? You'll first need to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. After we've confirmed network coverage, we can take the DHV Magellan. I don't have any words for this game. I'm just so lost. Is not everybody wants to be part of the UCA. That's not the plan, Sam. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. Just like with Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the network. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to back you up. Yeah. As always, sure. you'll be the one leading the way to expand the network. What's your role in all this? You're the commander, huh? That's right. These days I'm fragile in name only. You brought America together. The water physics are very nice. As the UCA. Bridge physics. I'm afraid death stranding is far from over. Impressive, but not structurally good, are they? Humanity is still in danger. Still on the brink of extinction. Don't act like you don't see it. Are they the shadow but men that you see when you take too many Benadryl? Or oh, the hat man, I think he's called, is he? Bridge is no longer overseas the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. So your friends and co-workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. You got a sweet little bike. So after and I a car. Up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the Chiral Network and APAS, humanity will be free from the need to move around. Okay. Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but... He found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. Oh. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. Hey, brother. Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this It's place crazy that they made the, uh, I'm assuming the villain is just Ronnie Radke. Factory all over the continent. Guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Kind of wild. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Hey, buddy. Are you just another soulless little husk, huh? I'm so Let confused with this. <laughs> but Santa Guitarist, where's the rest of your band? Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> the Ronnie Radke thing was a joke, by the way. <laughs> well, ain't that something? Was it you, Heads? Huh? Was it you that killed Lil? You still don't know, do you? Fuck! <laughs> oh, the man actually literally has a guitar. How did I not see that before? What? You're gonna have to find them yourself. But the ones you do find, well, that pain you nurse will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. 
Don't forget. Coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. And you have. We all know you've got this. Now it's time I to finish the journey, Sam. I, l I literally have nothing to say about this. Please understand, Sam. We never meant to string you along. I'm very confused. That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical in structure to the kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. Soup? I was there. I saw her home. And it was a hellhole. Should we have connected? I decided to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. Next year, sure. Roy Baker. Of course. Oh, that was... That was an experience, wasn't it? And now here with me today is visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, Kojima-san. Oh, hey, welcome. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. One that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. え、準備を始めてますけども、え、デストランディング 2年後 40 years in game production, god damn. A new action espionage game by Hideo Kojima. This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Good career. Can you share anything else about this new development? <laughs> え、もちろんインタラクティブなゲームなんですけども、え、ルックものがたりテーマ、キャスト、演技、ファッション、サウンド、え、どれをとっても、ディネトラクティブゲームバーオーソーモービーアトセイムタイム。いや、ウィフプ
for dude yapping. Silent Hill 2 Remake, Judas, Metro. Yep, 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 yeah. There's a lot of yapping there. <laughs> yapping, but with Kojima. <laughs> true, dude, true. Uh, I imagine choosing to release Rise of the Ronin on the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2. True. I didn't even realize. Silent Hill 2 is kind of lackluster to me. Uh, you can't ignore Bloodborne forever. I think they can. Uh, finally, Bloodborne cart. Can you imagine? Holy cow, is the old Sony back? That show was incredible. Stellar Blade looks awesome. Where is Little Big Planet 4? True, dude. Uh, love <laughs> looving the physics in Stellar Blade winky face. I don't have a bat to hit you, but I've got a remote control. Bad. Uh, DD2 combat looking polished. Yeah. Sonic and Shadow had me a little more excited there for a minute. Adventure 2 battle opening. Dan's fans know what I mean. I think Kojima is about to do Siphon Filter type game. Maybe. Uh, I mean, everyone's everyone's pretty positive about this. I will agree. I think that was a pretty good show. Again, I don't have a PlayStation 5, so there isn't much actually for me there. But to say I've not been like the whole era of and I'm every time I say this, I'm gonna get flamed for it. I know for a fact, but like nothing about God of War, nothing about uh, Infamous was pretty good. The second, the second something, Son. I don't know. That Infamous game was pretty good, but God of War, Spider Man, Last of Us, both parts one and two, uh, Horizon, all that era of PlayStation games. I just I haven't ever cared about them. I've tried to play all of them and nothing nothing clicked with me there. Which is fine. I'm glad people have enjoyed them and I'm glad they've got sequels and everything. It's not every game is made for everyone and they're not for me. But uh, yeah, this show has me infinitely more excited I guess than that whole era of all PlayStation shows. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That's genuinely, genuinely, that seemed like a pretty decent showing. And that 45 minutes went, 42 minutes went by very, very quickly. So I guess they've got games coming. Some of them will be multiplat. Maybe timed exclusives. Uh, we'll be getting Final Fantasy 16, I'm sure, at some point this year on PC and whatever. Maybe, hopefully. I would like to play it. Um, yeah, yeah, it seemed pretty decent. Seemed pretty decent. I ain't gonna lie. Hope you were. Uh, hope you, Sony PlayStation havers, are uh, excited because you got you got some stuff coming. Seems pretty good. But uh, yeah, I don't have much more to say. It's got two point three million views in a day. That's wild. That's impressive. Number three on trending. God damn, that's good. That's uh, it's very good, very very good. I'm uh, I'm pleased with that. I'm glad we watched it. I might actually have to look at Death Stranding at some point because that, what was that? I guess we could find out one day, couldn't we? We've got other games to finish though. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it here for today. Hope you've enjoyed this bonus video because I'll probably put it out tomorrow in addition to whatever comes out tomorrow as well. And I'd like to say, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Let me know down below if you if you thought this show was pretty good, if you're excited about... Tell me what games you're excited about that are coming out soon. Dragon's Dogma 2 looks pretty good. I think I'll be giving that a try for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.